no use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. Kid says a little prayer anyway. Couldn't hurt, right? Dead torture. Place is a dead end in more ways than one. Folks used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to Pith, the bull. Well, the gods are long gone now, and the orchard core is long gone too. It seems Pith ain't much of a watchdog. The gods don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. stood for something once. Something real. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. Pith makes a decent scarecrow, at least. Then Pip lights up like a rodeo. Pip breaks into bits. Must have been guarding that shrine. So what'll it be? Invoke the gods? Or tell them off? Kid decides to press his luck. Well, if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore.
Now we can build a shrine of our own, though I got some alternatives in mind. Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. Kid says hello, but Zolf's lost in thought. Turn him round and round all you like. Pit's still gonna be ugly. Justice. They seemed unstoppable. The Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. That's the Bullhead Court. Folks defended themselves there with shields, not words. There's a hint of pride in his eye when he gets back, and more than a hint in mine. 